prepared yet. You need to try and pick off the units as well. Look at the shields on the Mark. Welcome back to the IPL Season 2 Winner Round 2 Conclusion Match as we find out who will advance into Winner's Round 3 between Mausmana and Fnatic Phoenix. Both these players winning a game off of one another. I'm excited to see the conclusion. I'm DJ Wheat from OneMoreGame.tv and will it be Mana, our Red Protoss spawning in the Southwest? Played a very solid first game. Had some immaculate high Templar plays with his storms and just really, really uh, controlling them well. It allowed him to wreck the bio army of Phoenix. Or will it be his opponent from Fnatic? Phoenix, our blue Terran spawning in the northeast. He likes to play a pretty aggressive style. However... In the last two uh, games, we've actually seen Mana completely crush any hopes for Phoenix to actually pull off the aggression that he likes to do. Now, in every single game, he has gone for it, right? He has tried to, uh, to drop some sort of aggression. Um, it just hasn't really worked out, and that's because Mana, just knowing the very strict timings of what could be coming having great vision all over the map, it, it really allowed him to just stop those drops from happening. Uh, very, I, I mean, at the most, a couple of probes were lost. And Phoenix wants to kill seven, eight, ten uh, probes. You know, make it worth his while. Snipe an important building. Take out a pylon that could cause a supply block. All those things are important as far as the harassment is concerned. Mana on his way scouting will decide to go counterclockwise going to scout southeast position first will make his way up to the northeast eventually and phoenix is going to decide to also go counterclockwise which means that these two players will scout each other at the last moment but we will have mana scouting a little bit ahead in this matchup and he's going to play the exact same game, waiting for the Stalker. Follow up with the Sentry. Second gas going down. Do we have a Tech Lab? No, we have a Reactor. So going back to what he brought us in game number one. Probe does sneak in here. Won't get a whole lot of information. Just the Rax is down. He will see that there's a Reactor. Stop to probably click on that. And Marine's going to finally get his kill. On the other side, Stalker being chrono boosted out. And there's the SCV. About to be met up with his arch nemesis because he can't really get away from him, but he will actually decide to depart at a good time. He knew that his stay was overdue. However, Tosh will, excuse me, Mana will be going. And doing some scouting with that stalker. Just in case that SCV went off anywhere crazy. Proxy anything. Just having some very, very good um, scouting. And we're going to see the command center going down for Phoenix. That is natural. Response with the Nexus on the other side for Mana. Marines blocking the ramp. And more Marines on the way with two more racks going down. So Phoenix is going to open up at least similar in all three games. Oh, excuse me. The only deviance uh, or deviation that he did in all that was he went ahead and got the uh, tech lab in game number two. Brought out the Reaper. Got a couple of sentries over here. And uh, two gateways going down. So if Mana follows in his path, We'll see the robotics facility coming next. And the orbital is being morphed right now. Stalker found uh, those Marines. As you can see, his shields have gone down just a little bit. And it's a good placement. Only that one Marine taking some damage. Stim has been started. So we have double tech lab going down. 
A lot of probes transferring over to the Nexus as it just gets up. There's a scan on the two gateways, but that's or the three gateways, but that is all it will reveal. And now Marines and a single Marauder camping outside that bunker, rallying that SCV to build it just a little bit faster. Factory going down. We'll see the inevitable starport afterwards. And at that point, we might see Phoenix try to go for another drop harassment. There's the robotics facility. And I like just how thought out and concisive Mana is with his builds here. We see the gateways. We see the uh, cybernetics core. And that has made a nice little effective wall. Now, had his opponent been up here and uh, could potentially uh, brought a medevac over, dropped into the back, uh, it would be really hard to make it through there. Now, additionally, we see the robotics facility going down a location that would not be revealed by a main nexus scan. So if a scan goes down right here, it's uh, probably not going to see that robotics facility. Just a lot of thought uh, put out here. As you watch these things, you sort of catch it. Looks like SCV did meet its demise. But might have had a, a little count there of his opponent's army. The engineering bay will go up, and that means the upgrades will begin. We have the reactor down on the factory. And the starport is completing. Lifting off, switching over to the reactor so that he can get out the double medevac. Followed inevitably by the, uh, the double viking as we have the two gateways and the robotics bay going down. So... After this, we usually saw the two forges. The upgrades begin for our Protoss player. Not sitting. There's the scan on the main again. And it's not, again, not going to reveal a whole lot. If we just peek, we steal the vision here. He did see something down here building. Doesn't really, uh, could have clicked on it. Found out as a gateway. And he might move out here. Medivacs are deployed, ready to go. Third base going down. More Medivacs on the way. And the upgrades have begun. So let's uh, consider this battle here before it begins. The timing's perfect here for Mana as his first Colossus pops out. He's got a second one on the way. But a very nice bio force. Does have another Medivac on the way. The force fields, uh, actually there's quite a few force fields here. You can see nearly all of our sentries getting up to full and at only 50, that's four apiece, 16 force fields total. And that's not gonna be good. The units will get away. The Colossus does some damage, no kills for him. Observer from Mana sees everything going on, knows that the uh, extra racks have been thrown down. Uh, everything that he's pretty much doing at this point in time. And the bio army growing. Extended thermal lance is almost completed. Of course, giving the Colossus that beefy, crazy range. And allowing them to be killing machines. And also, plus one weapons does go down. So the second forge finishing up as well. Range nine. All done. And without the Vikings, he just cannot attack into this. You just can't. You know, force fields, uh, 16 force fields, and two Colossus. Not an awesome combination for the Terran. Kind of combination that is uh, Terran's, you know, worst fear. Not having those Vikings out. We do see Vikings in production. Second starport going down as well. I am surprised that Phoenix has not attempted to go down here. Uh, I would have to just check for vision. Was there a scan? There hasn't been a scan there. And with the threat, wow. Wow, three stalkers go down that quick. And he's actually gonna make that whole army move back into position. He's gotta pull back his Colossus force. And maybe now we will go check out that third. 
Because I feel like there's a really big advantage or potential v advantage here for Phoenix if he would check and cancel, possibly prevent this third. But he is not. Oh, okay. Will he move into position? He is going out into the back area. There's a probe on patrol. Ghost Academy just finishing up right now. And the Observer does not see this force moving in. At least I don't think. There's the scan. And uh, that's going to give... Uh, I, I think maybe the Observer might have caught him trying to go in. Mana just responding so well. I mean, something happens. Boom, he's on it. But his macro stays intact. Um, he's not overreacting. He protected that third while it was initially going up, only pulling his units when he was getting assaulted from the back door here. Taking a quick look at the army right now. 145, 158 is our supply. The, the uh, Colossus count now at three. And the first High Templar are warping in with Storm on the way. Fourth command center being built in the north location. And will the Terran decide to move out? Does he feel like he has enough Vikings? That may determine. You know, also, he may just attack in from the third. Because, um, well, we'll see a, we'll see a movement here. The, the, the reason I, you know, attacking into this, if the force fields go down, you prevent some of these Protoss units from actually engaging in the battle. And the Vikings can be up here and can do uh, some crazy damage to the Colossus. So just, you know, hard battle to fight there is uh, the choke is, is difficult. And it can go both ways. You know, the Terran army can push too far forward and be trapped by a bunch of force fields. It can go a lot of different ways. So the Observer still watches. Uh-oh, what we got going on back here? Not sure if he actually did drop, and I just missed it. There are some units over there. Nope, maybe not. He's going to go ahead and go in right now. And dropping that Marauder on the low ground, he can still load these back up. And the rest of the Protoss army is out over here on the side. The scan goes out. The Vikings do move forward, but these Marauders uh, are going to force a warp in here of some more Zealots. He's not really... Uh, Taking care of these Marauders, just trying to do as much damage as he possibly can. And that one Marauder. Oh, we're going to have a gauge of the fight at the front there. The Storms do go down. So two very, very good Storms. Some Zealots do take some of that damage. But the Colossus moving too far and forward. And that means the Vikings will be able to take them all down. No, we actually have a lot of those Stalkers focusing down. And look at that High Templar. That guy right there is a boss. He was standing out there in the front, not getting targeted. He dropped a huge storm on top of his opponent's head, and that will force Phoenix to retreat. We do have personal cloaking going down for the ghosts. That will help out in the initial engagements, but I have to feel like Mana got the better of that right there. This Marauder, oh my gosh. He didn't have any kills, but... What a pain. Looking at the R, let's look, take a look. So yes, we do see Phoenix down in supply. 141. He kept a lot of his medevacs. That'll be a big part of uh, staying alive. But he, I I mean, the reason why it's big that he, that he kept all his medevacs is because he's going to have to get the Viking production up. Uh, there's still a Colossus out. Actually, it could be very possible. No, we have more Colossus on the way. So, ooh. Mana going on the offensive now. There is a planetary here. But there's not even enough SCVs to be able to fast repair that. Even the Zealots going in on that party. And that is going to go down. Now luckily for Phoenix, he did decide to expand over here. And over here. But more importantly, he didn't have a huge SCV count there. So that ended up working out pretty good for him. Uh, but we have double medevac drop coming over. 
Sees the units in the two cannons there. He's got to get those out of there. He's trying to equalize things. The blink comes in, and there's the snipe of the medevac. All the units inside there are lost. He will not be able to take out medevac number two. So those four marauders will live, but there was quite a loss for Phoenix there. Got plus three ground weapons on the way for the Protoss. Plus three uh, ground weapons. Oh, Ghost, what are you doing? Does manage to get at least an EMP off, only affecting three Stalkers, though. Uh-oh, this is not good. Phoenix caught out of position. He is dropping inside the main base. But the Protoss has enough force to not only stop this, but he could actually push forward onto the main. The two armies have separated. Protoss cleans that up very nicely, and yes, he will decide to move in. He feels like he took out enough there. And oh no, he's going to catch this army off guard. There's simply not enough. Nothing to deal with the Colossus. We do see the EMP go down, but there are the storms. And Phoenix's army is demolished as the Stalkers blink in to take out the Medivacs. These Marauders are running away for their life. They do go back to at least the safety of the planetary. But okay, well then I'll just walk into your natural if I really want to. He doesn't care. He's going to move forward. He storms all the SCVs and the bio army. He knows that he's got this in the bag. So he gives it all that he's got. And I can't help but think that that is going to be it. And we will see Mao's Mana move forward, taking out Fnatic Phoenix in a 2-1 series. I know the GG hasn't been declared yet, but that was just too devastating of a loss. A great EMP throw down here but it's simply not enough. The High Templar turned into Archons, and there it is, GG, as we will see Mao's Mana advance on. Phoenix will be dropped down to the loser's bracket, and he will still fight in the IPL Season 2, but he will be fighting for his life. Mao's Mana will stay alive, keeping his free chance in the lower bracket still intact, and staying in the winner round three and advancing. This is the IPL season two. Check out more at www.ign.com slash IPL. I'm DJ Wheat, and I'll see you next time.